I think there was a fake double XL. <laughs> I don't know why these pages post this shit anymore, bro. Like I, I get it's a meme and everything, but it's so obviously fake. Like what's the point of posting it? No disrespect to people who did though. Cause they're my boys, but let's see. I think underground sound posted it. Uh, all right. Let's see how legit this is. All right, double XL freshman, 2024. These are obviously fake. Double XL ain't just putting a word document, being like Osama and putting it in a centered format. It's just double XL mag.com. They ain't that. If you ever seen one of these things, you know it's fake. I don't get how like people don't get it yet. They probably do though. Anyway, but double XL is cooked already, so it doesn't even matter anyway. But I feel like. I feel like the more than just the brand itself, but the yearly roundup for people to want to figure out who is actually next up, I feel like that's more significant than the actual choices that they make, like their editorial. So I like to always go back to it. Not for them though, because Double XL Loki doesn't know what they're talking about, but whatever. So Osama Sun. <laughs> It's hard to tell because again, because of 2016, we always go or like compare the level of success they were already having when they were on double XL freshman and they already had like billboard hits. They were of course already like 21 Savage, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi, et cetera, et cetera. So, and like even Cardi had Magnolia X was big. Uh, ugly god whoever was in the 2017 so but i don't think any of the artists from like our niche like the underground have big hits like that to compare so i don't know if four plants <laughs> but i don't think that there is anybody who's really putting on big hits like that other than like maybe like ice spice or I don't, I don't know, like new artists, Pink Panther S. I feel like that would be a good, Pink Panther S would be a good choice if they knew what they were talking about. But anyway, let's see if these ones are solid. Baby Kia. I see him on Twitter all the time. I've heard he's crashed out music. I don't think I've ever actually heard a song. So maybe we'll do that later. Osama Sun. I would like to see it. He represents like this niche, which double XL likes to do. They usually pick a bunch of niches and then pick like the leader of them all. So Osama Sun would be good a choice for that. Although is laser dim kind of more hot than Osama Sun right now? He might be just because he was on Max's stream. You know, he was on stream for, or he called in with Kai's stream He's just a big personality and I feel like he actually might have more followers and potentially monthly listeners than Osama son. I think somebody sent me that through DM. So let's check that out real quick. Laser dim 515 K. Isn't that crazy? Asian rock going stupid. All right. Osama son. Remember that though. 515 K. 448k. So Laser Dim barely got any songs out, and he's already technically bigger, at least with monthly listeners wise. So that's crazy to think about. So maybe Laser Dim might be picked over Osama Sun. And I just heard that Laser got signed to Alan Lowe. I could be wrong. Take that with a grain of salt. But I feel like Laser Dim would be good for like the freshman freestyle, although I don't even. Even with Osama Sun, actually, I feel like he'd bring his own swag to like the Cypher slash Freestyles, but Laser Dim, he would do the same thing, but I don't know. All right, V's, V's is pretty big, that'd be good. I feel like him going, like how old is V's though? V's age, 29 years old. Yeah, so I feel like he might not even want to go on the freshman list though, because if you're 29, sitting up there with Osama Sun and Laserdim, who are like 18 or 19 years old, it's kind of like awkward. 
like why would he do that just keep chilling with your own career going on shows and tours and making music plus no one really needs the double xl freshman anymore anyway unless unless you're you're getting bought in so i don't i don't i don't know the benefits even doing it cash cobain okay he's been hot lately and he's got some you know more mainstream level success like the the true how do i even say it like that demographic that double xl likes to cater to dina ayada i don't know if she's that big bro like her songs i know that she has like a big instagram following but i don't know if her music really carries on that much let me see 161k i don't know bro i think dina yada is like a moroccan artist i see her sometimes but i don't think i've ever listened to a song to be honest but tizo touchdown hey <laughs> if there's anything I, that double xl loves is industry plants <laughs> and i know tizo touchdown might have been around a while but you know it, it was just very like he just came out of nowhere and drake coastline it's like where did that come from so he could definitely be on it but again isn't he like 30 years old so does he even want to do it although he does have this like youthful persona that he likes to play so i could see him doing that <laughs> where he has the nails in his hair and shit <clears throat> four plants all right four plants the way they've played out his career though yeah like it would make sense but he signed a drake now and he's getting a kanye verse and everything like they're situating him to be like though the next one like we talk about next up all the all the time nah this dude is literally supposed to be the next superstar r&b artist and i think he is because he's fire so i don't know why they'd put him on double xl double xl definitely invited him but i don't think they would take it now ian i feel like he might do it i feel like he might be on it because he's new in the scene double xl would still benefit him especially because he's got punchy one-liners and so that would be perfect for the double XL freshman and cypher. And so it'd be good content for everybody. He's like, you know, the, the token white boy who's actually fire at rapping. So I could see it. I could see it. Now, what are some other ones that y'all said? Molly Santana. I would fuck with, I would fuck with Molly Santana. I don't think she's big enough to be on the double XL, but it would be cool to see that. Cause I do think that she's like the most promising female artist in the underground right now, but I feel like she might be too underground for, for double XL. Cause they get, they like to put like more mainstream acts, like actual big hits that are solidified net spend. I feel like Netsman doesn't have enough music out to actually be considered for this. Or at least he doesn't have enough music that are like big enough. He's got like 2024, drank, drank, drank. But like everything else is like kind of snippets. Also, Osama Sun and him are kind of like, they're signed to the same label, same demographic. So like they would hit two birds with one stone if they did that. Caribou, I could see Caribou. Yeah, especially because Concrete Boys and the connections and then you know, she she represents like this Detroit rap, Flint rap type style with like the lazy flow. So I can see that as like the female rapper. Ice Spice definitely not taking that, but that would have been last year if it was going to happen. Who else? Um, BLP Kosher. Actually, I think that there's like the 10th spot voting that's out. Double XL. 10th spot see what's stupid about this is that they don't include like all the artists so osama sun's on here blp kosher's on here cash cobain caribou actually some of these gotta be on there right like already not even just as the 10th spot 
So it kind of throws people off the trail. So maybe, maybe it actually makes sense. Rich and Miri. Oh, I know y'all can see Rich and Miri on this. Y'all be calling him a plant. I don't think he's a plant. I just think that they played their cards right, like with playlisting and and like pumping in marketing. Because I remember we were on stream listening to him when he was in his plug and beat days. So y'all can't call him a plant. He got his initial fan base by himself first, but he is with internet money. They got connections. So and he's got one call, which is a huge song on TikTok. Like I definitely think that's a contender for Double XL. Who else? V's, Wolfface Joey. Wolfface Joey got a lot of like big hits that have transcended just the underground. That could be on there. Dirt Ball is too small, in my opinion. Four Plants. I don't think Four Plants is going to be on it. Is there anything else? Y'all got any other ideas that might be on there? The saddest shit ever is that Rich Amiri has surpassed so fake up. Hey! That's what that's what good management does sometimes though, bro. Like you just got to drop, dude. We've already been this so many times. Been over this like he just need to drop. He's just, like the the more that he delays his music, the more he's just going to get leaked. And that's his own fault at this point. Like, I don't even feel bad. At one point, I felt bad. I was like, this dude, his, you know, his whole career is getting leaked. But really, it's it's been fucking... When did he drop Pink Hearts? When did he drop uh, Go Plus, like, 2023? Like, beginning of 2023 or maybe mid-2023. Like, it's been a whole ass year. And that was just the EP. You've had plenty of time to drop. It's his own fault. I'm sorry. Is he retired, though? He's deaf on the clock. I think I think what's happening is it's just becoming more and more time and more and more pressure for him to drop. And he's like, damn, I got to come out with something crazy, especially with these leaks and everybody's loving them. So he's probably in his head, but I haven't talked to him about it. So I don't know. How many times are we going to give this man, though? Are you talking about like a chance? We only give him a chance because he's so hard. Like he's so good. If he wasn't talented, then he'd be out so fast. But that just shows that he does. Glock dropped more than him and he locked up. <laughs> I'd love to see Glock on this list too, man. But I think Glock is low-key finished too. A jail freestyle to the phone? T tell me that wouldn't get views on Double XL though. But yeah, I, I feel like he's cooked. I feel like, like aggravated robbery or assault. That means he had a gun on him and then probably possession of a firearm. Like he's cooked. That shit's like minimum 10 years or something. Don't quote me on that, but like you can go look it up. Like it's bad, man. Depending on his lawyer. But if they confiscated that, like he's done though. He's done though. He's or he's been in jail for a while saying he's going to get out. It might turn into like, I don't think it'll be a TK situation, but he might get out in like five, 10 years and they'll just be too late. Maybe not, but if you already lost the hype and everything, like look at Bobby Shmurda. He came out like 10 years later, maybe longer. And then nobody cared what the, also he came out a clone, bro. He started doing like humping shit. He started pulling a little Uzi on stage. And nobody wanted to hear that music. Like he came out, probably got butt fucked 14 times every single day by Big Tyrone in the corner. That's why. Even bigger artists fall off like that because older artists like ASAP Rocky got washed for not dropping is pretty irrelevant. Now, exactly. There's only a certain amount of rappers that cannot drop and uh, actually stay relevant. Xavier's so based in Joey, they got 100k in us. <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, like I could see, I could see Joey or Xavier so based on the list, just because they do have a movement, and especially Double XL being headquartered in New York, I want to say, where Xavier so based is. Like they might put him on there just to. I don't know, just just for the antics, because he is funny. 
Joey is even funnier though, and he would be good content for the like the on the radar shit where he didn't even say words. It was just distorted beat, like slowed, like chopped and screwed. He could do something like that with double XL, and that would get so many views. So if they're smart, they might cater the artists on their list to actual content and then also of course like the superstar status of some of the artists like like uh laser dim or or four bats or ian would do well osama sun but but yeah joey on there would be hilarious especially whatever he would say with like the cypher he might tell him to like splice in a legalized nuclear bombs you want until japan Benji Bluebills. Benji Bluebills could represent like the street side of things. Although I feel like there are other street rappers that like probably are bigger than him, but we just don't pay attention to because we're in like a specific niche of like the internet side of things. But then Benji kind of crosses over to the internet side of things because he was dissing Cardi and Cardi was mentioned him in a song. You know what I mean? Shay. Shay is I, look. I, I mess with Shay's music. Don't get me wrong. But again, like I feel like it kind of already rep is represented by Osama Sun, because it used to be like Osama Sun and Shay were like the top in the underground that are coming up. But I, that's why I don't think Netspend's gonna be on there either. But like if we put together our own list, y yeah, you'd have to put like Netspend and Shay and Osama Sun on it. Although Shay, I feel like still has a lot more to prove. Like. He, he got a couple songs on him. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like he needs to get on a bigger streak. You know? And like be more talked about. But don't get me wrong. He's hard. I put him on there. He still is, Bob. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. But like when you see the big four in the underground, big four, you know, when they have like the little Twitter pictures. It's usually like Laserdim, Ian, Osama Sun, and like somebody else. I can't remember who it is, but it's it's usually not Shay. But I feel like Shay is working himself way his his way back into it. Yapo. I feel like Yako Yapo to Street. Oh, it's Nesman. Sorry, yeah. You're right. Exactly. That's the fourth spot. Not Shay. Even though technically Shay, I think, got bigger songs than Nesman right now. Don't quote me on that. I fuck with Yapo. I feel like he kind of isn't, he's not as big as Osama Sun in the four that I just talked about though. Even though he had a big song with one O on TikTok, but that, that hype kind of died down a little bit. He's on the clock to like make another one of those bangers. That's all I'm saying. But we're ready. I fuck with Yap. 